NFL uh, is really the land of opportunity, especially for Baker Mayfield, because he went from being the number one overall pick of the Cleveland Browns back in 2018. And, and of course, being the number one overall pick, the expectations, they're through the roof. Uh, you, you are going to be expected to do so much. You are expected to be the face of that franchise now. You're expected to be the guy that turns it around for whatever city you're going to. And we know Baker Mayfield, he did get Cleveland Browns in the playoffs for the first time in a long time. Even got them a playoff victory for the first time in a long time. So he did some good there for sure. Uh, he also did a lot of bad. And he just never really lived up to being the number one overall pick. Again, even though the expectations that come with it are crazy. But it just never ended up working out. Uh, so down the road, Deshaun Watson, he became available from the Houston Texans and the Cleveland Browns. They were foaming out their mouth for Deshaun Watson, and they ended up getting him or, or being interested in him. Before they even got him, they just publicly showed their interest in him. And then all these stories started coming out about Baker Mayfield being immature, being a bad teammate, this and that. And we already knew that was the beginning of the end. So then uh, the Panthers, they acquired Baker Mayfield. So he went there, and it just didn't really work out either. Uh, so then from the Panthers, he went to the Rams. And the, the Rams got him, and he had a nice little first outing, but after that, it was just, nah. So now he's uh, signing with the Bucks, signing with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So they go from Brady to Baker. Uh, so let's, we'll, we'll see how that goes It should be interesting to see uh, Especially if, if he's going to have a, a Chris Godwin If he's going to have a Mike Evans and whatnot uh, If those guys end up staying Like Baker, done, he done had some opportunities with some nice receivers, man Because remember at one time with the Browns He had both Odell and Jarvis Landry So he may be in a pretty good position But we, we, we'll see how things go But it's expected to be a one-year deal worth up to $8.5 million so um, with it being a one year deal, it's not obviously not a long term commitment. And this is the Bucks way of being like, all right, Baker, let's see what you got. We've we, we seen you around the league and whatnot. We're going to give you a shot, but let's see what you got. But this doesn't like stop the Bucks from making other moves at quarterback because this is like a, a one year deal worth eight point five mil. That's nowadays. That's almost backup QB money. So I don't know if Bucks got their eye on somebody else. We'll see. Um, but this doesn't necessarily mean that Baker Mayfield is going to be their starter, in my opinion. But it puts them in a safe space. Like, all right, if we don't get a quarterback that we, we really want, whether it be the draft, whether it be some other method, if we don't get another guy that we really want, then, all right, we'll fall back on Baker Mayfield. He'll be our backup plan. We got him for cheap anyway, especially for a, a quarterback. Again, a, a deal worth up to 8.5 mil for one year. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's whatever money. So that's that So we'll see how Mr. Baker does uh, Down in Tampa Bay He been like his, his living situation just keeps on Getting better and it keeps on getting warmer too Cause he started in cold Cleveland And then he went to Carolinas And it's cold there too But it's, it's a lot warmer than it would be in Cleveland But then he goes to LA It's like oh yeah oh, I like it out here And now he comes down to Florida Oh, oh, oh the best but shout out to Baker and let's see how he does with them bucks.